uh, <clears throat> it's an honor to be here. Uh, thanks, Mayor. Thanks, Christian Green. And uh, thanks, Kimberly, for not messing up my name. Uh, uh, we are relatively new to the Cure Cardar event, and uh, we need your help uh, with Neolight to promote personal and home health care using technology to the next level. I am here to share uh, a small story about Neolight, why we started and what is our next goals, and how can we contribute to the Cure Cardar or the American market. Not every, th every problem requires complex engineering solution. I mean, at times, awareness can be a great medical tool. Personalized and point-of-care home treatment will see a big boom in the medical industry in the future. Fortunately, I started my career as a medical designer, developing warmers, incubators, ventilators, and world-class blind aid devices. Everything went perfectly in my life until one day, um, my manager asked me to do clinical trials on the product that I designed. It's called a medical warmer. In the first attempt, I terribly failed. Weeks later, I did my second attempt. The baby got treated. And there was this beautiful smile from the mother's face. I, I still remember that day. Today, we live in a world with billions of connected devices, as, as Joe stated. We have quad-core processor, with all fingerprint touch technology, everything in our pockets. 15 years back, if I had told my friend that I'm going to find my dream partner online, people would have either thought I'm crazy or lazy. But now, we socialize in Facebook. We meet professionals in LinkedIn. And we also have 3D printers at some homes. Technology has reached a pinnacle, and we need to go along with that shift. So, so in the same hospital, the same story, so I was next room to the mother's room. I saw a bunch of babies like you guys um, with, a, with a light from the top. Uh, so, so I thought a mother uh, was lucky enough to give birth to four or five babies all at once. Wow, that's, that's great. So I asked a doctor nearby, and uh, he said, those are babies from different mothers getting treated for jaundice. And the probability of those babies getting saved is, is very low. The hospitals did not have the money to buy the equipments. Even though if they bought few equipments, those equipments are not up to the modern care. So that day, I, I thought to myself that I, sh I should do something to the community. So I came to the, I came to the US and uh, proposed my idea to ASU. Actually, I think uh, I should press this button to move the slides over. I think I missed this point of the home healthcare. Healthcare is a trillion dollar market, but uh, only 3% of the pie is being contributed to the home care. The, the cost of treating a patient in the hospital is, is much more significant compared to treating it in the house. It's just 8% of the total cost in the hospital. And if you look at this uh, slide, uh, US is relatively an unexplored market for home health care. Apart from California and Texas, not much of the states have invested or established more in terms of home health care. So, so this, this made me think that uh, the home health care and the, the simple and the effective treatment that the community needs has to be served in a proper manner. So I formed a very uh, beautiful uh, and a very effective team. So, so after I met the baby, uh, I completely lost about the money-minded nature. Uh, so I became, kind of became more human. That's why I uh, joined a few management people to, to get the company with all the money running and get this project to reach uh, the, the babies. So, so we started Neolight with uh, two core values. One is simple design. The next is point of care treatment. Simple means affordable. It is easily serviceable. And it is, can be reproduced anywhere. And next step is we want to deliver 
treatment right at your doorsteps. I mean, why do you want to go to hospitals and stay there after delivering the baby or, or any, any disease? So treatment should be at your house, like how 3D printers are at your house. house it's, it's sooner that uh, it, it's, it's, we can imagine a day where all the treatments can be done right at your place. We started with the help of ASU, and now we are supported by CEI, Children's Hospital LA, and some other big hospitals in and around Arizona. So we, we, with the help of all these guys, we developed a disruptive technology to treat jaundice effectively with an affordable way, and we proposed it to hospitals in the Arizona, including Scottsdale Health Center and, and all the Dignity Groups. So they gave a comment that, uh, Shiva, it is not only a problem in the developing markets, it is also a problem in the developed markets as well, like USA. We have more advanced mobile in our pocket, but the medical treatment is not as advanced as it should be. It is not as modern. So then we categorize our device into two, two lines. One is Neolite Skylife, which has all the premium features to treat jaundice in newborn babies in the US, and Neolite Sun Life, which can, which can run on solar power for developing markets. Our device can actually replace three devices in the hospital with just one device, and can have an OPEX saving of more than $5,000 per device per hospital per year. When we did some statistics, we found that 10 babies are affect, getting affected every minute, which is like 15,000 babies per day, or 5.6 newborn babies on young generation every year. As, as Meglis MacArthur, who quotes, failure can be summed up in two words in any language, too late. Now that we know the importance of home care, importance of a newborn baby, and time, I don't want to be too late. So please join hands to support Neolite and promote home health care and get this technology in the hands of people who are in need. Thank you. Thank you.